Hey everybody, this is Thea, and this is going to be a quick 15-minute cardio strength workout. We're going to do these at intervals with a timer. I have a 30-second timer that I'm going to use, so you're going to kind of hear it in the background as we switch between exercises. We're going to do these in an ABAB format, meaning we're going to do one exercise, switch to another, and then go back to that first exercise, and then do the second one again. So first, I hope you've warmed up. If not, click the link and do my quick five-minute warm-up, and then come back here, because we're going to jump right into this. If you have your dumbbells, go ahead and grab them. We're going to start with squats and bicep curls. So I have my 30 second timer here. Grab those dumbbells and you're gonna squat down, curl. Squat and curl. When you're doing this, I need you to make sure that your core stays nice and tight so you're not rocking yourself to get those dumbbells up. So I don't want one of these. So you squat down, keep that chest up, back is nice and straight. Squat down, curl it up. Squat down. Curl up. When we hear this buzzer, we're gonna start thrusters, which is pretty much a squat press, okay? So take those dumbbells up to the um, shoulders, squat it down, push it up. As you're doing these, everything's coming up together, everything's coming back down together. So you don't wanna do here and then a squat, I mean, then a press, excuse me. That's not what I want. I want everything coming down, push it up, drop it back down, push it up, drop it back down, push it up. All right? So like I said, A, B, A, B. So we're going right back to those squats and bicep curls when we hear this buzzer, okay? Good, right on back down here, curl. Down, curl. Down, curl, good. Really squeezing in those biceps. I don't want you just going through the motion. I really want you to use what you got after you stand up, all right? So thrusters. One more time after this, or that squat press, whatever you like to call it. All right. And then we're gonna move on. We're actually gonna come on down. Whew. Push, push, push. You're kind of using that squat to help the press. So you don't have to just rely on all of your delts, all of those shoulders, kind of popping yourself up out of that squat. I think my hands are going out of view. <sighs> All right. So after this, we're gonna drop one dumbbell. All right. <sighs> Good. So I want you to drop one dumbbell. Doesn't matter which one it is. I have my dumbbell in my right hand now. I'm gonna take my right leg, it's gonna come behind me, and I'm just gonna step over. Pretty simple, right? These are your curtsy lunges. You're feeling these hopefully on the outside of your legs. Other side, dumbbell goes in the left hand, left leg goes behind you. Just a good curtsy lunge, nothing too fancy happening. So when we hear that buzzer again, we're gonna move on. So this is kind of like an ABC type situation happening this time but we're gonna move on to big sumo squats, okay? That's gonna be in four, three, two, one, and you're gonna be right here. Big squats, turn the toes, pointing out just a bit, squat it down and back up. There we go. Perfect, as you get these sumo squats down, if you have, some type of mirror, just make sure your chest is staying up for me so you're not coming over like this and doing like a deadlift kind of action. So we're gonna go back to those curtsy lunges. I'm gonna add on to it. Dumbbell goes back into the right hand. Right leg goes back. Lunge it over. Lunge it back. Lunge it down. Push it off. Lunge it back. Over. And back, over, push off, and back, over, push off, back. Good, and then we're gonna do the same thing again on the left side. Good, dumbbell goes into the left hand, left leg goes back, lunge it down, one leg is straight, one knee is bent, push it off. That left knee is bent as you come down, right leg is straight, push it off, back to that curtsy lunge. Good. 
Perfect. We got 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna go right back to those sumo squats one more time. We got this. Feet are nice and wide, turn those toes out. Down, pick it up. Down, pick it up. Down, pick it up. Looking good. Down, up. Squeezing those glutes as you come up. Don't just go through that motion, like I said. Down, up, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze. Make sure those knees are right over the ankle, okay? Sitting back into the heels. Gonna get a quick break after this. Go ahead and drop your dumbbell. If you need water, go ahead and grab it. If not, stay right here. Okay, guys, you're still gonna have that one dumbbell in your hand. What you're gonna do is take it in your right hand. You're gonna take your right leg, bring it forward, into your lunge, lean into it, fly out to the side, step it back from the front. Right leg goes forward, right arm comes out to the side, and bring it back. All right, so three, two, one, here we go. Out to the side, push it back. Lunge forward, out to the side, push it back. Lunge forward, out to the side, push it back. Good, just like that. Keep on going. Right leg, right arm. Lean forward into it, good fly back, and then back down. I'm having my hand in front of me right here, just so I make sure I keep everything still and stable. You're more than welcome to keep your hand on your hip, okay? This just feels better to me to have it on my stomach, right? Let's switch sides. Dumbbell goes into the left hand, left foot goes forward, fly it out to the side, bring it back. Here, fly it out to the side, bring it back, good. As we switch out of these, we're going to be doing some squats and arm raises. You still only need that one dumbbell, okay? If for the next one, the one dumbbell, just not enough, you're more than welcome to grab the other one that you have. I'm just gonna use one though, okay? All right, so with that squat, you're gonna take that dumbbell, little squat down, arms go straight over the head, back down. Little squat down, arms go straight, boom. Use your shoulders, use that back, down, arms all the way up, Whew. down, arms come up. Go squat down, pick those arms up, Whew. perfect. We're gonna do that lunge and your flies again after this. Here we go, three, two, one, dumbbell goes in the right hand, right foot goes forward, fly it out, bring it back, up, fly it out. Bring it back. Good. We got it. Good. With that fly, I want you to here, push it in and then bring it back. So from the back, you're here. Push it in and then bring it back. Good. Give me two more just like that. And then finish off that last one and then switch to the other hand. Dumbbells in the left hand. Left foot goes forward. Fly it out. Bring it back. Fly it out. Bring it back, good. Keep it going. Feeling right there in that middle back. That lunge, when you push off, you should be feeling it in your legs as well. So this is working upper and lower at the same time, okay? Don't forget that lunge. I need a good solid lunge as we get these done. After this, one more time, we're gonna do that squat and that arm raise, and then we get to move out of this. Okay, squat it down, you're here. Arms go up. Boom, keep those arms nice and straight. Perfect. We got it. So after this, we actually don't need any dumbbells, okay? We don't need any resistance because we're gonna kind of create our own resistance. We're gonna work our outer thighs again. Whew. I hope you guys are feeling these in your shoulders and those delts and in that back because I definitely am even with this eight pound dumbbell. Good, so place that dumbbell down for me. What you're gonna do is a side step. So you're gonna come to one side of wherever you are, squat it down, take two steps. One, two, tap, and then one, two to the other side, all right? We got 30 seconds. Let's do this, here we go. One, two, tap, one, two, tap. One, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, 
two, tap, good. I'm already feeling it here, okay? If you're not, I need you to just squat yourself down just a little bit more, nice and low, tap, one, two. We got 10 more seconds, one, two, tap, one, two. We're gonna start working our calves a little bit more, okay? That's our switch out of this. You're gonna come back to the middle. You're here, heel raise, up and down. If you would like to, you can grab those dumbbells and add on a little bit more resistance. I hope you guys can see my feet, maybe not, okay? Heels come up, off the ground, squeeze in those calves, and then back down, up, squeeze, back down, up, squeeze, back down, good. You got your own pace. Even if you need to do one and then the other, that is fine with me, all right? Up, squeeze back down. We're going to do those side steps again. See how it feels the second time around. Okay. Step to one side for me. Step two, one, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, two. Make sure you're staying nice and low. So if you're up here, just kind of just shuffling along, it's not much happening. Okay. Come on down. Use the outer, outer thighs. Give me side to side. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to the middle, up and down. Good, with those heel raises. Perfect, work those calves. We're almost there, perfect. We got it. Okay, after this, we're gonna grab your dumbbells one more time. We're gonna get some triceps in there because we can't forget the back of the arms. All right, and then we're going to get some deadlifts in there as well. And I'll show you what those two are gonna look like. Good, all right, shake everything out. Grab some water if you need it. Okay, so we're gonna do deadlifts, okay? Grab those dumbbells. And you're gonna come over at your hips, bending at your knees just a bit, and then coming back up, okay? Three, two, one, over at the hips, deadlift. Use your hamstrings, pull yourself back up, squeeze in those glutes as you come up, down, over. Pull it up, squeeze, down, over, pull it up, squeeze, down, over, pull it up, squeeze, down, over, pull it up, squeeze. Keep on going, just like this. And then we're gonna do some tricep extensions. We're gonna do them both hands together as we do our tricep extensions. Um, we're gonna bend over at our hips and do them like that today. Okay, so you're gonna bend over just like you would be doing a deadlift, bend at those knees. Uh, hands come up to the shoulders, extend them back, and then in. If, for whatever reason, your back starts to hurt, you drop one dumbbell and do it here, okay? We're going to do it again, second round, so you can get the other side in, okay? If not, if your back is fine, keep on going, just like this. You're going to give me two more. Last one. Good. Shake everything out real quick. Let's go back to those deadlifts. Down. Pull it up, squeeze in those glutes, over. Pull it up, squeeze, over. Pull it up, squeeze, down. Pull up, squeeze, good. Down, pull up, squeeze, down. Pull up, squeeze, good, almost there. Whew. Use those hamstrings, use those glutes. Don't just go through the motion. I want you to really feel it in the back of those legs. Good, all right, we're gonna do those Triceps again, so you're gonna come over here. If for the last time you did one leg at a time, one arm, excuse me, do the other side here. All right, extend nice and straight. Arm should be coming right above your uh, back, okay? And then in, the shoulder doesn't move, just the elbow, okay? So you shouldn't be swinging up here, here, back down, here, back down, good. Give me one more. Drop one dumbbell. If you have two, keep the dumbbell if you only have one. All right, let's get a little bit of core in there. So you're gonna take one knee. You're gonna bring it up to the side. You're gonna take that dumbbell, bring it down to the hip, and then back up. Swing it down and back up. Swing it down and then back up, okay? We're almost done, guys. 30 seconds. Swing it down, back up. Your knee comes down, your knee comes up, excuse me, and your hand comes down. And then back up, down, back up, good. Swing, back up, keep it going. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Perfect, keep it going.
Let's do the other side. So left knee comes up, dumbbell comes down to the left side, and swing back down. Good. You're chopping it down, bringing that knee up. So kind of attacking those abs from both sides. So this is really like a full body situation happening right here because we got our shoulders happening. We got our core happening. That knee's coming up, so we're using our legs as well. Good. Place that dumbbell down. All you're going to do is bend at your knees and reach from side to side. That's it. Going to work those obliques again for me. Side crunch, side crunch. Keep your chest up for me. If you have something written on it and you have somewhere to look, I want you to make sure that you can see what's written on your chest the whole time, okay? That's how we make sure that we're using our obliques and not so much of our lower back and bending ourselves over too much. All right? Good. Perfect. Guys, we are all done. That was just about 15 minutes of a total body cardio strength workout. If you guys like that workout, there are tons of other workouts below here. Click one, do another strength workout. We have Pilates workouts. We have kickboxing workouts, straight strength, just lower body, just upper body. And if you want to work with me individually, I have an online training program that is also linked below. Click the link. Hit me up if you guys want to train together. I'd love to have you as a client. Until next time, see you guys later.